Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small video on the CPU cores maximize your FPS. Uh, the company gave me a key of uh, this software that's supposed to uh, optimize your CPU uh, to make sure that you're getting mo uh, more FPS in game and more like a better score in benchmarking. Um, I will show you my result after that. I will show you the software first. So, uh, the software is pretty easy to use, honestly. It's something that you uh, install on uh, Steam. You double click on it and you're getting this um, the, the, the software. Uh, the, the price of the software is currently $16 for if you're Canadian. So, I'm pretty sure it's uh, $12, something like that for uh, American. Um, when you open the software, you got the uh, stream portion. So all the software that you have on your Steam or video games are there. So if you want to launch CPU cores with the game, you just click press start game and all the setting that you will choose will be applied to the game. So for me, on this is the better, uh, the best setting that I found, the run game by higher priority and the isolate constraint the operating system. Uh, this software is... Um, they want to make sure that the, your the, the resource of your CPU will be uh, dedicated to your video games. Uh, we know Windows 10 sometimes uh, <laughs> is running a lot of different processes that you not necessarily need. So this software makes sure that everything is high priority when you play a game. Also, you have the disabled virtual AMD SMT cores if you have a Ryzen CPU. I did a couple of tests. It didn't improve my result for benchmarking or video games. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, also, a nice feature, you can add other games. So you can add non-Steam application if you want. I did a test with the Division 2 and Cinebench. Works fine, honestly. So uh, pretty cool. And also, you have like the uh, current process. This is more like a, some kind of RAM cleaner, but it's not for RAM, it's for CPU. So you, you see all the process that currently run on your computer and you cl can click CPU core it to clean uh the process that you don't need so uh yeah that's about it guys for uh, the software itself i will show you my result honestly even the the, the um, software developer said if you have a pretty good computer don't buy this software uh it will not necessarily uh, you will not gain like more fps it's more for like if you have like a laptop you have just two cores four cores on your computer but like old cpu because even with uh intel if you have like an i5 uh, series 4000 and more uh, 6000 7000 etc uh i don't think you will have um you will have some kind of optimization with this software so i will show you my result i have an rtx tw uh, 2070 and I have uh, an AMD Ryzen 2700X, uh, and you, I will show you that I didn't get any um, improvement, honestly. So let's see. Let's look at the benchmark. So we can start with the Time Spy. Um, so I'm comparing normal, so without the, the software and with CPU cores. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more points with the CPU cores one, but it's not a big difference. So you can't really say, oh, it's because of the software. But still, I, I, I was getting a, a little bit of an increase. I did the test two times and uh, each time CPU cores uh, was ahead. After that, Cinebench R15. I'm getting five point more again. I'm I did a couple of run for this one, and each time CPU cores was first. But again, it's not a big difference. Finally, for video games, I did three different tests: The Division Two, Battlefield Five, Call of Duty Black Ops Four. And as you can see, each time I was getting more FPS without the software. So Division Two, I was getting two FPS more. I lost 2 FPS when I was using CPU cores. Same thing for Battlefield. And I was losing 3 FPS for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So in my case, honestly, it didn't really improve it. So for the price, honestly, I don't know why. Uh, if you have like a, a brand new computer, IN, or even mid-range computer, I don't see the purpose to buy this software. But uh, for a low-end computer, maybe it, will can, it can help you. Right now, I don't have any bench. Um, I don't have a another computer to bench it with an older um, CPU. All the, the computer I have here is like my Ryzen 206, uh, 2600, and I did a couple of tests on, on it, and it's pretty much the same thing than my the, the current Ryzen that I'm using. So I didn't see uh, any improvement. 
So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube uh, video section. If you're using the software with an older CPU, please share your result. I'm really, uh, <laughs> I want to see if it, it helps you. But uh, in my case, as you can see, it didn't help. Thank you very much, guys. Peace.